Uh, I'm happy. Good. Okay. So today, just want to say, yeah, I see you. Okay. So today we're going to do. Um, we're going to do English eight, page ten, and page four writing. Okay. 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 I see you, and we're going to go up to. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's start with this one. This one is page 10. Write the correct form of the verb. Okay. May enjoys make craft, especially bracelets. What do you think that one is? May enjoys. May enjoy. Make crap. Making. Uh, making. Making. Making crafts. Crap. Uh, especially. Especially. Practice. Yes. Number two. People in Britain love watching TV in their free time. You can say watching. Yes, you can say people in Britain love watching TV in their free time, or you can say people in Britain love to watch TV. Love to watch TV in their free time. Love watching. So you can here say to watch. To watch. People in Britain love to watch TV in their free time or love watching. Do you fancy? Do you fancy skate? Skate body. In the park this Sunday, number four. Nick learning Vietnamese. You can say to learn or you can say learning. Nick's li Nick likes to learn Vietnamese or you can say Nick likes learning. Okay. Yes. And same with this one. You can say here to sit or you can say sitting. Ngoc hates. Let's read number five. Ngoc has to sit at the computer for too long. Yes, good. Okay. Write sentences about what you like or don't like doing in your free time. Begin with the following, then share what you write, what you have written with your partner. I adore. What do you adore? What do you like doing the most in your free time? Uh, I adore. Texting with my friends. Texting with my friends. Okay, I love. I love play computer game. I love playing. Playing computer, computer game. games. I fancy. Uh, fancy I is fancy. like like. Uh, fancy, fancy is like. Playing football. I don't mind. So this one you like or you don't like. It's not your favorite, but you don't mind playing it or doing it. I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind. Play tennis. Don't mind to play tennis. To play. I don't like. What don't you like? I don't like. Uh, learning. Physic. Learning. Physic. Physics. Yeah. Physics. I, I detest. That means I don't like it at all. 
uh, detect. Mm -hmm. That means I don't like it at all. I detest. I don't like, what don't you like? I detest but, uh, watching a uh, golf film. Watching? God film. God <laughs> Garfield. Okay. Garfield. Okay, good. You get the idea. Okay, let's go up here. Look at the following email that Min Duke wrote to her pen friend. Okay, let's read the email. Okay, let's read uh, the email. Hi, my name is Duke. How are you? Just eat what just eat what I like do in my free time. I often play video games or watching TV. Or I going to the park and play football with my friends. Uh I enjoy I enjoy do this very much. I sometimes help me help me a parent too if I have homework. I will try to finish it first before do anything else. But I don't like have lost have lost a homework. I don't mind to do homework, but I have spent all evening on is on sat on Saturday or Sunday. I love is out with my family. The food is delicious. What about you, Beth Dick? Okay. Now there is six grammar mistakes. Okay, in this piece. There's six grammar mistakes. Okay. So let's have a look here. Um, okay. So it says here, hi, my name's Duke, how are you? This is what I like. This is what I like do. No, this is what I like to do. To do in my free time. I often play video games or watch TV. Or, or I go to the park and play football with my friends. I enjoy do this. No, I enjoy to do this very much. I enjoy to do this. So here, I enjoy Okay, so there enjoy. you So there you should say I enjoy doing this. Should be doing. I enjoy doing this very much. Um here you have to I like to do this is what i like to do in my free time to do i sometimes help my parents too if i have homework i'll try to finish it first before i do anything else but i don't like don't like have i don't like to have lots of homework to have to have lots of homework. I don't mind to do homework, but I hate spend all evening. No, spending all evening. Okay. 
spending or oh, evening on it on Saturday and Sunday. I love to eat again or eating. I love eating out with my family or to eat with my family. Um, this is what I like doing in my free time or to. Or you can say eating. And here you can say doing. Okay, let's read it one more time. And now you have to read it with the, with the, um, with the corrections, okay? Uh, hi, my name is Luke. How are you? It is what I like to, I like to do in my free time. I often play video game or watch TV or I go to the park and play football with my friend. I enjoy doing this very much. I some uh, I sometimes help my parents too. If I have homework, I will try to finish it first before I do anything else. But I don't like to have lots a uh, lot of homework. I don't mind to do homework, but I hate spending or evening. It's on Saturday on or Sunday, I love to eating out with my family. The food. No, you, no, 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 you don't say to eating. You either say to or you say eating. To eat or eating. You don't say to eating. Okay. Uh, eating. Yes, you either say to or you say eating. It's like that. So it's either or. Okay. Okay, now, how many activities does Duke mention in his email? How many activities does he do? Uh, activities? Six. No, say the activities. Okay, let's just say it. Video games. Uh, video game. What else? Okay, let's read it. Watch TV. Watch TV or go to the park or and play football with my friend. I enjoy do this very much. I sometimes help my parents too. To, or he likes to eat with his family. Which two activities does he like the most? Uh, he says, I often, so often means he likes it the most. So I, he likes video games. He likes, he likes to play video games and uh, watching, watching, oh, TV. watching TV. Watching TV because it's a two that, and here it's six, six activities, activities. Okay. Okay, let's write one to your friend, okay? Let's write one to your friend. Write the similar email to your friend about your free time and your activities. Uh, Dear. Okay. Okay, 
write the simulate email. So you can say, hi. Okay, hi, my name is, or you can say hi, because you know her, his name, hi Duke. And what do you like to do in your free time? Uh, this thing with my friend. I'm fine, thank you. And you, my favorite activities are texting my friends or or play computer game. Play playing computer game. These are my uh, my favorite activities. Are okay. I also mm, okay. We can say I often. I often help my parents too. If I don't have a lot of homework. Okay, on Saturday and Sunday, what do you do then? Uh, I learn English. And? Uh, and um, play football. Play uh, to play football with my friend in the park okay my favorite activities are texting my friends or playing computer games i often help my friends parents too if i don't have a lot of homework on saturday and sunday i love learning english and to play football with my friends in the park do you like to do homework yes or no mm, yes i don't mind doing homework either okay there's your email let's read your email again Mm, hi Doug, my name is Mike. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? My favorite activity are testing with my friend or playing computer game. I often help my friend, my parents too. If I don't have a lot of homework, I don't mind doing homework either. On, on Saturday and Sunday, I love learning English and to play football with my friend in the park. Good. Best? Best, my. Good. Okay. Let's go here. Okay. Communication. Uh, Let's see if we can go up to page 11 and then we have to do the writing. Okay, now extra vocab, read the following article on the magazine 14 website. This week 14 has opened a forum for friends around the world to share how they spend their free time. Okay, let's read here. Uh, I love hanging out 
with my pet friend Helen in my spare time. I like going window shopping. G for it. Uh, we also work as volunteer for an animal plot, uh, protection, protection protection organization. organization. Good. Uh, tomorrow we are going going to a farm. Tomorrow we are going to a farm. Good. This may sound uh, weird. This may sound weird, but I adore cloud watching, fly an open space, lie or lie on our your back. your back. Uh, your back. Uh, and look at the clouds. And look at the cloud. You use uh, use your, your imagination. Imagination. Easy. Uh, it's very slang. D y l i two. D y l i two. This. This is it your phone ringing, sweetie? Is it your phone ringing? Yeah. Okay. This year, I can't hear you. You have muted yourself. Okay. This year, my city is the European European capital. Capital, uh, capital or culture. Uh, so lots going on. At weekend, at weekend, my para. At weekends, my brother and I go to our city community where we my dance, brother, paint, and do drama. Uh, my brother and I go to go to our city community, community center. Central where we then paint and do drama. Um, love it okay. love it love it okay this is slang because it's it's going to confuse you guys L i like doing sports i like i like doing sports um in my school the football team but what i mostly do in my free time is help me and uh, she has cooking class classes more classes for small group of tourists is the blue app for me. Mm, I have been kind of uh, addicted. Addicted to the nest. To the nest. I just, I just love sitting in front of my computer for hours. But now my mom, my mom has says, uh, it's e It's enough. It's like like it's enough. enough. Like it's enough. It's enough. I will, I will start my judo class this weekend. It okay, W B U. What about you? Uh, what about you? <laughs> yeah, it's slang. Okay. Can you understand the abbreviations? Here's the abbreviations in the text. Let's have a look. 
Okay. Tomorrow. The T M O R O means tomorrow. Look. For. For. Love. It's a little heart. Love. Bro. Bro is a short word for brother. Bro. Brother. Do you love it? Uh, yes. Easy. Easy. Just for fun. Going. And enough. Now these are slang. It's not really abbreviations. It's slang. Are your with? What about you? Way fun. Okay. Okay, find information in the text to complete the table. What activity is mentioned? What does she think of it? Let's make it smaller. Okay, there we have the names. Look, we have Emily, we have Lynn, we have Manuel, we have Min, and we have Hang. Okay, what activity is mentioned? Now, what activity does Lynn like, uh, Emily like to do? Uh, what activity is mentioned, Emily? I love hanging out with my best friend, Helen, in my spare time. Uh, I love hanging out with my friend, my best friend, Helen. So, so hanging out, she likes yeah. to do. And they like, uh, what activity? Oh, um, we also work on tears for animal protection. Okay. Uh, like going window shopping. Hanging out and going window shopping with her friend. And she says, it's just for fun. Do you see? Just for yeah. fun. Lynn, let's have a look at Lynn. Okay, what uh, is what activity does Lynn like to do? Uh, there she said, I like to hang out with my friend just for fun. Lynn, here is Lynn. This is Lynn here. Okay, what does Lynn like to do? Dance, paint, and do drama. Yes, they like to do that. And what did she say about it? What's that? Love it. That means love it. And she likes to yeah. go to the community center. Community center to dance and. Okay, what about manual? What does manual like to do? Manual sitting. Uh, I start my judo class. Mm. He's doing a judo class because he can't sit in front of the computer all the time. And he says it's okay. It's okay. Men, what does men like doing? Men, uh, I like doing sport. Sport, and what does he think about it? Uh, it's way fun. Way fun. Way fun for me. 
He likes to do sport and it's way fun for me. What about hang? She likes to go. What's that? Cloud watching. Cloud watching. And she also says it's easy. easy. She says it's easy. Do you like it? Okay. Okay, let's end here, page 11. Okay, let's go to this one. Okay, page 10 and page 11. Now this one, we're going to do the writing here. Number seven says it's part uh, three for pet four writing. Answer one of the following questions, question seven and question eight. We will do question seven and then we can do eight next time. Uh, this is part of a letter you receive from a friend in America, in the USA. I guess there are many traditional festivals in your country. What's the most important one? Why do people celebrate this festival? Write and tell me about it. Okay, so write your letter in about 100 words, answering your friend's questions. Number eight, your English teacher has asked you to write a story. Your story must begin with the sentence, nobody knew what Adam had in his suitcase. Okay, which one do you want to do first? Do you want to write about the traditional festivals or do you want to do the story? Nobody knew what Adam had in his suitcase. Which one do you want to do first? And do you want to do number seven or number eight? eight. Do, you want, do you want to write about the story? Okay, let's write about the story. Okay, so we're going to make it our own story. Okay, here we go. We're going to make our own story. I'm just going to write here question eight. Okay, question eight. Now question eight says, nobody knew what Adam had in his suitcase. Okay, nobody knew what Adam had in his suitcase. Adam always went somewhere with his suitcase. What do you think he, what did he have in his suitcase? What do you think is in Adam's suitcase? Uh, Adam. What do you think is in Adam's suitcase? Sweetie, you have to think of something. What do you think is in his suitcase? Can you think of something? What did Adam have in his suitcase? Money, guns, computers, laptops. Jewelry. Okay. Why did he have a laptop? Uh, because uh, in his birthday. Why? Uh, okay, I'm going to type it and you can read it, okay? 
Nobody knew what Adam had in his suitcase. Adam always took his suitcase wherever he went. Adam always took his suitcase wherever he went. Nobody saw. No, nobody knew what was in his suitcase or saw when he opened it. He took his suitcase to work where he had to answer phone calls and take messages. His suitcase always stood next to his desk. Furthermore, he took his suitcase to the disco and dance event. He always made sure the suitcase was looked after. One day, someone asked Adam, what was in the suitcase? And he said, okay, what do you think he said? What's interesting in the suitcase? He says, mm. Adam always took his suitcase wherever he went. However, Nobody knew what was in his suitcase or saw when he opened it. He took his suitcase to work where he has to answer phone calls, where he had to answer phone calls and um, he took his suitcase to work where he had to answer phone calls and meet new people. His suitcase always stood next to his desk. Furthermore, he took his suitcase to the disco and dance event. He always made sure the suitcase was looked after. One day someone asked Adam what was in the suitcase and he said, what do you think is in the suitcase? And he said that there was nothing interesting in the suitcase. But one day, a friend saw when he opened his suitcase. Okay, now you have to tell me, what do you think he saw? Uh, me? What's in the suitcase? Yeah. 
You can also finish your, your story like that. You can say, but one day a friend saw when he opened his suitcase and saw it was only A. And you can leave your story like that. So now, now the reader must guess what's in the laptop, what's in the suitcase. Okay, so you can either reveal the answer or you can let the uh, reader guess what the friend saw. Um, nobody knew what Adam had in his suitcase. So the friend could have seen uh, a wrong thing. It might not be what he saw. And Adam said, there's nothing interesting in the suitcase. But something has, has been in the suitcase that he really liked or really looked after a lot. So one day a friend saw when he opened the suitcase and saw it was only A, but the friend could be wrong as well. Okay. Okay, let's read here. Uh, nobody's new was Adam his, uh, in his suitcase. Adam always took in his suitcase whenever he went, uh, he went, however, nobody, uh, nobody knew uh, what was in his suitcase also when he opened it, he, he took his suitcase uh, to work where he had to answer phone call and meet new people. Uh, his suitcase always stood uh, next to his bed. Uh, furthermore, he took his suitcase to the disco and then even uh, he always made sure the suitcase was looked after one day. Uh, someone at Adam was what in the suitcase and he says that uh, that's the, uh, that's, there was nothing interesting in the suitcase. But one day, a friend saw when he opened his suitcase and saw it was only a... Uh... Okay, let's read it one more time. Nobody uh, knew what's at knew what Adam, what Adam had in his suitcase. Adam always took his suitcase whenever he went. However, nobody knew what was in the suitcase or saw in uh, when he opened it. He took his suitcase to work where, where he has to answer phone call and meet new people. His suitcase always stood next to his desk. Furthermore, he took his suitcase to the disco and then even he always made sure the suitcase was looked after one day someone at a dump was what in the suitcase and he says that there was nothing interesting in the suitcase but one day a friend saw when he opened his suitcase and saw his word all year. Good, well done. So now it makes you wonder what is in the suitcase? Why is he carrying this all the way through? Okay, so now these are the kind of answers you have to type or think about. Think about making a story, okay? So it's writing. You don't have to remember it, but it's writing. You need to start writing and thinking of ideas. Okay. Okay, let me save it to now. I can send it to you. And next time we can do question seven. Let's read it one more time. Nobody knew what Adam had in his suitcase. Okay, one more time. Nobody was Adam had in his suitcase. Adam always took his suitcase whenever he went. 
However, nobody knew what was in the suitcase or so when he opened it. He took his suitcase to work where, we, uh, where he had to answer phone call and meet new people. His suitcase always stood next to his desk. Uh, furthermore, he took his suitcase to the disco and then even uh, he always made sure the suitcase would look after one day someone asked Adam uh, what was in the suitcase and he says there was nothing interesting in the suitcase but one day a friend saw when he opened his suitcase and saw it was on the earth. Okay, but now I need you to stop at the full stops because you're reading all in one and you're stopping at different places. So you, at the end of a sentence, you have to stop, take a breath and carry on, okay? For example, Adam always took his suitcase wherever he went. Stop. However, nobody knew what was in his suitcase or saw when he opened it. Stop. He took, okay? I want you to stop at the sentences. Let's say it one more time. Nobody knew what Adam has in his suitcase. Adam always took his suitcase whenever he went. However, nobody knew what was in his suitcase or so when he opened it. He took his suitcase to work where he has to answer for score and miss new people. His suitcase always stood next to his bed. Furthermore, he took his suitcase to the disco and then events. He always made sure that the suitcase was looked after one day someone... No, look after. Stop. One day... Look, up, look after. One day, someone asked Adam what was in the suitcase and he just that there was nothing interesting in the suitcase. But one day, a friend saw when he opened his suitcase and saw it was earlier. Okay, good. Okay, let's have a look at number seven. We'll just type number seven. We've got a few minutes left. Okay, I guess there are many traditional festivals in your country. Talk to me, we've got three minutes left. Talk to me about a traditional festival in your country that you like. What festival do you like? Uh, um, sport. What festival? Uh, What's the festival name? A festival. So it's a celebration. Traditional festivals, a festival, a celebration. When you celebrate this festival. What festival do you like? Um, My ally What festival? A celebration. For example, like Tet. What festival do you like? Uh, fashion. Fashion? Yes. Is that a festival? Okay, what do you what do you celebrate? What do you celebrate in fashion? Uh, 
celebrate what do you do in the festival you must know what do you do in the festival why do you celebrate it like Ted. Ted, you celebrate the new year. You do it with fireworks, you do it with gifts or nice food. Now, what do you do yours with? Uh, knife food. Knife food. Nice food, okay, okay. And why do you celebrate it? I want you to go and look at this. We're going to do this next time, okay? I want you to look at this. Go and look at, go do her, some homework and look at festivals in your country. Ask mommy, ask daddy, what festivals do you celebrate in your country? Why do you celebrate it? Why do people celebrate this festival? Why is it important? Okay, and then you tell me about a festival of your choice, all right? Okay. Okay. I want you to go and have a look at some festivals. Ask mommy, talk to mommy about it or daddy, and then tell me why you celebrate that festival, why it is important, okay? All okay. right. I'll see you next time. Bye, sweetie.